The moon was absolutely beautiful out there this morning. Sheriff just asked me if I saw it. Yes, sir, I did. It was wonderful. Going to be a beautiful day today. Jamie? Hey, Frank, y'all learned to whisper in a sawmill? Yeah. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us on a Friday morning edition of Cooper Company Live. This is Athens in the AM. Got Matthew in here. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning, Jamie. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Sean Dowdy in here this morning. Sean, me and Sean cycling buddies. There we Sean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sean's the head man out at TVA. <laughs> He's on the way to work. I'm going to talk about him in just a second. Sheriff Mike Blakely joins us this morning. Frank Morales, my old anger management instructor. How you doing? Man? Reckon that's a good thing, Sheriff, for you to be sitting beside him. Hey, listen, he didn't do no good with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you got on? New, new boots this morning, Mike? No, they, they just haven't worn them very much. They're my Sunday boots. So you just got them buffed up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk with Sheriff in just a moment, too. Matthew's in here. Frank's in here. Tony, Tom, a whole bunch. Cole Medina will be here in just a little bit. Got a lot of things going on. First and foremost, Matthew, you're not much of an artist, are you? No, I gave it a try in third grade. It didn't work out well, very see, well. Well, see, Sean is a professional. Here's the thing he did of Athens. What do you call this, Sean? It's called the Who I Wear of Athens. A who, and you know what? It's got the rodeo in it, Sheriff. Got, it didn't have Chick-fil-A, yeah, Matthew. I don't know what we're going to do about this. Got the Athens Fiddler's Convention, Cream Delight, Catfish Cabin, and my favorite photograph. Yeah, there it is right there, me. <laughs> nice hair. You have a car like that? No, but... Uh, How are you sure that's you? Well, I know it's me can tell by the hair. Is it TV on the show? Yeah, it's hard to get hair. Uh, this is the first one of these, right? It's a very, that's the very first framed one that I've got printed right now. And people can get this where? At my website. At your website, which mm -hmm. is what? It's whowhatwhereart.com. Don't say it so fast. Say it one more time. Whowhatwhereart.com. There it is right there. there. And how much are the prints of this? Uh, the prints are $6, and the frame piece right now is $50. Okay. No. And, and if you wanted one, Matthew, to hang at Chick-fil-A, and you wanted me to autograph it, it'd be a lot more than that. So if, you, if you want me to personally. Uh, what, 25 50 yeah, bucks? If you want me to personally autograph it, I can do that, too. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, well, Even though you're not the artist. All right, six dollars, who, what, <laughs> when, where, art dot com, right? Yes, who, what, well you got the rodeo, the fiddlers convention, Z T V. Got all the big stars in there. Sorry, Matthew. It's all right. Oh no, gone didn't get Coleman Dental in there. They'll be, disappointed. We They'll be disappointed in a little bit. <laughs> I'll do number two. <laughs> yeah. Now you've done several you sold some at the fiddlers convention last yes. year. Yeah. yeah, well, good. Yeah. Wife Flo teaching over to the Wellness Center. She is teaching the Wellness Center. I think she's going to be on with us Tuesday. She's doing yes. a thing for obese kids or yeah. something. She's starting a new program for obese kids. So if you got a little fat one out there, you need to get the shin shape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> huh? Well, it's for all kids. It's not just for obese kids. It's okay. for all kids, 6 to 12. So. How many of those kids are overweight? That I don't know yet. I, I, I'm sure there will be some in there, but it's just for all kids. It's just for right. anybody that And they can sign up at the Wellness Center? Mm -hmm. Thanks. All right, well, well, she's going to be with us. Thank you for <laughs> mine. Right there, Matthew, I will autograph one. Are you ready for some football? <laughs> I'm ready, man. How deep of trouble do you think LSU's in? Uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty bad. We'll, we'll see what happens. So. Well, I heard yesterday, shut up, Huddleston sent me the video of that kid kicking him in the head. The police uh, surveillance tape, or not that, but uh, the cell phone tape taken down there, and video, and... Uh, don't look good, but we'll see. We'll see. John, thanks again. I know you got to get out TV and get to work. Matthew, hang loose. Thanks for feeding yes, us. Sir. All right, Matthew, we'll get back to him in just a moment. Right now, let's check in on the weather. You know, Hurricane Irene is about to demolish the eastern coast of the United States, yet no rain for us. How's that working? No rain, not just only for today, but for a week, I can say. And when we do have a chance of rain, it's only a 10% shot of those showers anyway. And just, you know, cooler temperatures in the morning in the low 70s, and then in the afternoons, we're in the mid-90s, and I can just say, look at our extended forecast. It looks the exact same for a week. You're not going to miss anything. Put those, turn those sprinklers on because no rain in sight. 230-4988 gets us this morning. I'm sure if you got off early this morning. Yes. That's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. No, it's a beautiful <laughs> day. That's right. Uh, see, y'all got somebody swallowing a bunch of meth yesterday. I'll talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> Furniture Mart. And you didn't confiscate no furniture, did you? No, not, not lately. Yeah. What do y'all got? We're going to talk about that stew thing you got coming up in a little bit, too. We got some video of one of the Boss Hill things, I think, several years ago. Of course, they all look the same. From 04. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talked to Rick Moe yesterday, and he said y'all were partners on this deal, basically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's wanting you to guide a bunch of people over to the Fiddler's Convention. I think we may bring some people in for the stew and send them on up to the Fiddler's Convention. Some of the people at the Fiddler's Convention, when they get ready to eat, come out there and eat some stew. All right. If you folks don't know, we'll talk about this later on this morning, too, uh, what the uh, sheriff's wanting to do. But here's the graphic on that. If you want to sign up for the yard sale, 
sale. You want to sign up for the uh, stew cook-off right there. It is going to be out at the arena on October 7th and 8th. Who we play that day, Frank? Uh, what day is that? October 7th. We play Auburn that first week. Who we play the second week, Matthew? That October. It's too early to think. Oh, come on. Dog on it. I'll have to get my own schedule out here in a minute. Bama, number one. Hey, Frank. Number one here. <laughs> Since you're an anger management expert, I want to ask you about this deal going on in Decatur. I'm surprised this didn't happen in Limestone County. The woman that uh, the woman who punched a man in the Morgan County District Court last year okay. because he he was drunk and hit her hit at her daughter's car and tore it up. Didn't hurt the daughter. She punched him, punched him out. Well, now she's getting 30 days in jail to be served on weekend. Um, here's what the judge said to her. He says, uh, Mr. Bearden was wrong. That's the guy that was drunk. But at least he was intoxicated. This is according to the judge. You were just irate. What you did was totally outside the bounds of law. Hmm. Now, is that an anger issue? Or is that just a woman taking up for a kid? Well, that's what happens is people sit up there and they decide to take the law in their own hands because when she got back in the court and she saw that man, all she could think about was that her kid was in danger and that man had been drunk. And so she got mad all over again. We'll be talking about something about that a little now, later on. Do you think on. it's fair for her to get 30 days in jail? Well, what happened was when she got there again. And she had to pay for his medical expenses. Well. Okay, well, see, she took the law into her own hands mm -hmm. when it came down to it after that. There was no need to go to the court, was there, if she was going to take the law into her own hands? Judge so. could have maybe just gave, given her a weekend or something, but he felt it was worth it. How many days. days in jail did he get? Well, I don't know. I don't know yeah. if he got it, you know. But he, I mean, she had to be punished because you can't just go into a court. Okay, he still owes $5,000 in restitution. <laughs> uh, he might as well sit in jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for, uh, for the daughter's medical bills. Uh, he can pay $100 a month. Oh, he's on the payment plan. Yeah, he's on the <laughs> payment plan. And uh, Sheriff, not to leave you out, of course. the story we did yesterday on something else, and I don't know how many of y'all know this or not, but we talked about it up here yesterday. Marriage, divorce rates rise in the South. Did you know that? Why would you ask me about that? <laughs> yeah, no, <I> just, <laughs> to make me look good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we talked about this yesterday for you folks that didn't, but I said, yeah, when you, uh, where you live may influence your attitudes and actions toward marriage and divorce more than you think. Since people in the South, especially Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Kentucky, uh, have Mississippi. a... Uh, Mississippi. Well, Mississippi too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says because we have a lower education standards here. Most of us didn't go to college or something and therefore we marry at younger ages and we're less educated uh, because, you know, they marry early because they're less educated and are that they, increases divorce rates. Are they saying the divorce rates higher here than it is everywhere else? Higher here than anywhere else in the United States. Oh, that surprises me. Well, I figured me and you had a lot to do with that. Well, that, <laughs> if they take a few people off the list, the statistics would drop drastically. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. So Frank, do you think there's any truth to that? What they're just saying is that people with lower education make less money. Less money means you argue more over financial things. And people do argue over money. That's all it is. Frank, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the difference in what you just said. Mm -hmm. In the three marriages I had prior to this one, not one of those ever was over finances. Jamie, you're a special bird. <laughs> You know, you got to realize that. You're a special <laughs> category by yourself. But not one of them <laughs> was ever because of a financial deal. Yeah. Jamie, uh, we, you, you're a person a that we'll show. talk about. Yeah, you're a whole show. <laughs> Most of us, we argue over normal stuff, you know, but you got a special category. You're not in the box. <laughs> Drama is correct, Brad. Thank you. I think that is the ultimate compliment. When you, you agree, when you agree, Sheriff? Well, probably. You know, if he just waited till he got older when he got married the first time, he probably wouldn't be married but one time. One. True. Are you giving Thank out you advice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call Mike. <laughs> yeah. Call Mike. Boys yeah. of experience. Yeah. Well, All right, we got here of a 21 or a 22, or even if you're le lower than or younger than 30 years old and you're getting married, I'm just like, oh, just wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always want to tell him, just wait. Why is that? Because make sure you're ready. I got married the first time at 20. Point made. Same here. Same there. <laughs> How'd that go for you? Not, Not too good. good. <laughs> Not too good. All right, Frank, so what are you going to be talking about later on this morning? High conflict people. Who what? High conflict <laughs> people. Now, meaning, that meaning what? 
people that keep, these are the most difficult of people, these are people that want to sue people all the time, people that are always threaten people, people that like let's say they hear or something and they might want to come back and tell the FCC on you, people that want to make complaints about people like you, people that want to say that Well you're talking about my ex-wife. Could be. I don't know. <laughs> you know. But we're talking about people that are constantly threatening everybody. These are the people that we call the mental bullies. These are people that are coming around and when you see them, you try to avoid them all the time. I know a few of those. Okay. These are people that every time every clerk sees them, they want to run the other way. These are people who want to go to see the store manager over oh, everything. Oh, I got you. People so. who constantly complain. Mm -hmm. But they complain to the highest level. These are people that never look at their own behavior whatsoever. You know anybody like that, Mike? I have about 40 or 50 a day come to my office. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> These you are, are complaint central for yeah. Limestone County. That's what I'm there for. Yeah. And, and you know, you take those calls. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we've been in your office. They're fun to listen to. If, too. if, they, can, if they can come unload uh, all their anger and everything in my office, then maybe they'll let somebody else rest. But these are the mm -hmm. people that when you know that they tell you this person's on the phone and this person's there, you sit there and roll your eyes and go, and get yourself ready. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed when I came in this morning. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just getting ready for football. Yeah. <laughs> you need to Hold it. Well, now, hey, now the anger management might need to be taking place at some of the football games. You notice the fight they had, what was it, last week? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a heck of a fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, doing it everywhere, it appears. Yeah, I have classes in schools. Yeah, talking about that, you know, LSU, that's uh, Jordan Jefferson may be ruled, he may be banned for the football season. Uh, the LSU quarterback. Well, you see how long it took them to get to the police. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it so don't look good. Something like that just ruins their possible career. Yeah, there it is, LSU. That's mm -hmm. in USA Today this morning. LSU troubles mount the clash with he. They're already saying he will not play in the Oregon game. And the other guy, Russell Shepard, has been suspended too. Their their wide receiver. That's real good. He's been suspended mm -hmm. for the first few games. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what well, changes the whole thing? The LSU. Alabama ticket was one of the hottest tickets in the United States to get at one point. And now you're looking at the whole thing changing for the whole SEC. Do you think LSU may lose a couple of games? Oh, I'm thinking they'll lose a few games. I'm hoping they do. Ain't you, Sheriff? We all Bama well, fans up here. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, your son's Definitely. still an Auburn fan. What happened to him? <laughs> Bibby dropped him on his head when he was really young. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three times. <laughs> oh, anything new we expect for the 30th annual Limestone County Sheriff Rodeo? I know we'll oh. talk about that in a little bit. Well, we're going to have a, 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 you know, a super uh, new uh, VIP box where How much that gonna we've, cost? Moved, we've, moved, <laughs> we've moved our press box uh, to the uh, south end above, oh, okay. the, above the cattle chutes, uh, the uh, oh. uh, roping chutes. And our old press box, we're going to fix it up. We're probably going to have Hooter Girls serving wings or something up there and it with air conditioning. So you mean you moved it? <laughs> is the south side where my suite is? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So it's right there next to me. Right. Oh, you okay. So I'll have easy access. Girls. Well, now, the, the Super Duper one's the old press box. It's on the oh, on okay. east side. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So it'll have air. Oh, well, mine's got do. splinters. <laughs> 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 oh, we got to take a break. Thank y'all for getting up with us on a Friday morning. We'll come back with ZNN in just a moment. Talk to all these folks in here. Must looking around the room, probably 30 or 40 people in here. Oh, but we'll yeah. take a break and be right back. Y'all hang on. Get on.